Okay, so just a demonstration, a simple demonstration of a program that I've recently uh, put inside the computer here to execute. It just calculates pr prime numbers in sequence. So it will find uh, prime number 2, 3, 5, 7, etc. Uh, and there's no limits to how far it can go except uh, for the size of the registers, which are 16 bits right now. So the computer is on reset right now. And uh, the number we are interested in are these, is, is this number here, which is the first 8 bits. This, this is displaying the uh, a lower half of the the register uh, where the results are stored uh, so uh, for, for at the beginning the numbers the prime numbers are small so they fit into 8 bits later on they are going to uh, the uh, the the other half the upper half of half of the register will be necessary as well uh, so right now I'm only showing the lower half here so that's 8 bits and I will uh, take the computer out of reset now so out of reset and then start the clock and so it starts in here as you can see these are prime numbers uh, so you just focus on the first eight bits around here so if you pause the video at any point you can check that these numbers here are uh, a sequence of prime numbers so let's have a look here the way uh, the computer is doing this right now is I yesterday I coded a divide instruction so it's an in, a CPU instruction, a machine instruction that will divide uh, a 16-bit register by another 16-bit register and give the result for now it's, a, it's the, the most inefficient algorithm uh, in existence it's just doing the division by repeatedly subtracting uh, the divider from the dividend and then it stores how many times it has done that and that will be the the quotient and the remainder is whatever cannot be subtracted of course there are much better algorithms for this which I will uh, I will correct this uh, soon so that was just so I have a divide instruction uh, so I could write this prime number program to test the computer further so the way it's calculating the prime numbers is uh, it starts counting uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. And then for each number, let's say the current number is 11. So it tries to divide 11 by 2, and then 3, 4, 5, etc. Up to, well, in the, it, ideally it would be up to the square root of the number, but right now I'm dividing just up to the number. And if no divisors are found, then the number is considered prime and is displayed uh, right here. So that's it for now. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, see you later.